Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's Cassandra here, and today we're talking about shine. Today is the day. I don't know what's happening, and I'm saying so. If if I say so one more time, take a sip for every time I say so. Today we're talking about shining. So before I start. This is a two-part video, so the first part is going to be me giving you a brief overview and my review, and then we're going to hit over to what's the actual reading blog, which it wasn't my best one, but I hope you guys enjoy it. So, to start with, I just wanted to say that that was my first Stephen King book that I've ever read. It was recommended by Jordan Line by um, re Reading by Beth or Reading with Beth. Um, so, Beth recommended couple. Um, she has the most beautiful Stephen King shelf so I'll try to find the picture and post it here just like goals so yeah with that being said when I went into this book all I knew it was that it was about a haunted hotel that the dad is going to be a, a like a groundskeeper not groundskeeper like a hotel keeper over the winter period that's all I knew I know that there is a movie and I have watched the trailer like 150 pages into because I just had no idea what was actually happening. So when I started, I had a really bad headache for the first three or four days when I was reading. So that maybe had some sort of impact. So I might be rereading in in a while, but I will not say that I don't like his writing because I feel like the book was fine. So with that being said, we have John, who is the dad, Danny, who is a five-year-old and Wendy, who is the mom. So they go in and the hotel, Overlook Hotel, is in the middle of nowhere in the mountains and he is going to be the overlooker for the hotel. So he is going to stay there between, I think it's October or November till April. Um, and it's just them, there's no one else. They only have a phone that cuts out the line as soon as it snows and they had like a CB radio, I think it's called. Um, and so that's what they said they're going to do. And so it starts with, we get like a hint that Danny, which is the little boy, can kind of read people's mind or something like that. So the mom called it a second sight because he was born with, like when a baby comes out, I don't know if it was like a placenta on him or something. And that's like a superstition that they will have the second sight, which is like maybe being a little bit more psychic than anyone else. So I, I that was a little bit creepy because kids creep me out as it is. And then having a five-year-old being able to tell you what someone is feeling or where certain things are, there's Tony, who it's like an imaginary friend of Danny's, I thought, um, which there's more about this later on. Um, so altogether, the book to me, oh, hold up. So the book to me was fine. I gave it 3.75 stars. Um, it's almost on a part of four, but I feel like there's books that I gave like lower rating. And I had a better time reading. So I would give it 3.5, 3.75 um, for the book. I thought it was fine, but it was nothing wild. That's kind of it. If you guys want to, I, I would say if you haven't read it, give it a go. Uh, but it wasn't my all-time favorite. By no means, it's not going to probably make it to the best of 2021. So it was 3.75 stars. And if you guys are interested in watching the reading vlog, please keep on watching. And I hope you enjoy. Bye. Guys, good morning. It is the 6th of March. And today... Today is the day. Today, we're going to start The Shining. And I am super excited. This is the first time I am reading a Stephen King novel. Um, and I'm hoping that it's going to be starting with a bang. I have read two books already this month. I'm going to edit a video today. And tomorrow is my boyfriend's birthday. So I'm hoping that this week I can kind of finish. I have a lot of schoolwork to do, which was really, really hard last couple of weeks. But um, so I'm giving myself kind of a week to read it. It is approximately 500 pages so I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish it by the end of the week um and today is Saturday so I'm hoping the next Saturday we're going to finish it off and I'm going to take you guys on the journey with me reading Stephen King for the first time so I am currently so today is the 7th and I'm like 84 pages or so in also the lighting is so weird because it's really really cloudy outside um I'm hoping that you can actually see me we're about 84 pages in so we got introduced to all the main characters and we we had jack go over to see the hotel he didn't really get along with the um the manager but apparently the manager is just a prick anyways so that's fine um the kid danny he is really freaking me out um 
whenever there's something to do with children, he has almost like the side where, you know, he goes and he has those dreams, like nightmares, and he's talking to this guy called Tony, which I still don't know who Tony is. When I googled it, it said that that's Danny's older version. Um, so we will see how that goes. But so far, so good. Like I said, I haven't run, uh, read a ton, but I also was in like I went to bed at like 11 I was like passed out half 10 11 so it's really quick to to read but the more he speaks well John speaks to all the other employees so we had the guy with the, in the boiler room and now we have the cook the more he talks to them the more things are being discovered about the actual hotel and I feel like that's it's creepy, but at the same time, it's not. Because if you think about it, if the hotel has been around for over a hundred years in times where maybe um, doctors and maybe like urgent care wasn't that available, it would be normal to, to think that maybe something have happened. Maybe a couple of people have passed away in there. So I really do um do like it so far i feel like the kid is gonna just creep me out so bad so today is the eighth happy international women's day today and uh, let me maybe put you here so we got to the hotel so fa finally the family got to the hotel and they met the cook and the cook eventually pulls out the Danny to the side, like in his car. And he literally like opens up to him. He's like, oh, you're this year. You're, you know, you have the shining in you, blah, blah, blah. And they're talking about it. And, you know, he's like, oh, I can hear all the parents' thoughts and stuff like that. And we're almost like the first night in. Like the mom's like, oh, I'm going to get us a doctor's appointment. But at night, they go into their room and Danny goes to go and brush his teeth and stuff. And also, they're freaking out about him learning how to read. So I feel like it's going to be a big part. We just don't know what kind of part yet. So I really like that. And then so he locks himself in a bathroom and then the mom can't get in. So they kick in the door and he's like staring at the mirror, which is really, really creepy in my opinion. But so that happens. And the dad is like, why did you stutter? You know, like, don't stutter, stop stuttering or something like that. Which I thought it would have been a connection to the, the boy that was on the debate team. But I think it's not going to be. So, don't know about that. And then, and then we have the part when the mom is like, I just don't want him to forget me. So, I don't, I, I don't know. Also, at five, I feel like at five, you can at least basic read it's just like me thinking that and it's normal for kids not to know but anyways so she's like i don't want him to forget me so i don't know what's happening and i'm saying so if if i say so one more time take a sip for every time i say so it's gonna be a wild right then um with that being said i've been having a migraine since literally starting reading the book yesterday i took like painkillers three or four times which is a lot of times because i take strong painkillers for my headaches so I'm hoping that it's going to like subside i pulled up some of my coursework i'm going to read i i need to really start writing an essay this week but i also have to re-watch my own performance of a session my eyes are just not happening like it's just not happening i feel awful did get another stephen king book um that one is actually just a crime book but cover was cute so we got her hi so today we are on march the 9th um we got to a part i think i'm like 200 pages or 200 pages and a little bit in um and so jack which is the dad went upstairs um, like to the roof and he found a wasp nest and so he thought that he destroyed it brought over like the the packaging or the nest um brought it down and he gave it to to danny and danny got stung several times i don't know now he's like starting to like, need to drink all of a sudden he found like the sketchbook as well with all of the like things that have happened and so he's really angry at the manager the he kind of pulled him up and all of the bad things that happened and that he wants to like rub in his face so he calls him and he almost loses his job 
and he says that he needs to drink more but nothing really happened for him to need to drink more like he didn't lose the job so i i don't know i the dad is not my favorite the mom just seems like a lovely lady um but yeah there's something to do with her mom not being the nicest person her sister dying when she was a child um i don't know also i've done my nails and i really don't like them so let's just not look at them now um so yeah that's where we are at and it's about 4 p.m now i've done my coursework i've done my training we had a important like online meeting and now i'm just going to chill my headache is gone but i don't want it to come back so i'm going to self-care big time and yeah let's keep going good morning so it's the 11th of march today and last night actually what happened was i had online lessons finished those and i had a headache so by 5 p.m I was like, I need a nap. So I went upstairs in the bedroom and I was like, I'm going to read a little and then hopefully I can have like a half an hour snooze and I'll be fine. Well, I slept for three hours straight. My headache went away, but I ended up reading then after dinner to like 1am. So we have some updates. So we have Danny. He has been told that he's not allowed to, to he is not allowed to, to go to, to the room 217. So what does Danny do? Danny goes into 217. And so he goes in and there was a lady that passed away in a bathtub there. And so he has like this encounter with her and actually she gets her hands on his throat where he's been told that nothing can actually hurt you here. It's just like pictures in the book, you know? So he gets super freaked out. He pees himself. Um, really, really traumatic thing. But at the same time, Wendy is sleeping and she can hear Jack screaming. So he broke the radio. That was like the only connection that they had or something like that because the radio was telling him to kill her and the baby through his passed away dad's voice. And apparently we got like this backstory of the dad being a prick. Um, like he beat his mom and awful. It, it seemed really awful. So I must say that until now, I think it was over 250 pages in, I was like, why do people love this book? I did not feel spooked. I did not. It wasn't like I was really engaged. I couldn't really hook on to any of the, the characters. Danny was like, um, as someone who is studying counseling and, you know, psychology is a big part of it. And I'm really interested in that. Having someone who can almost hear someone else's thoughts. That's really interesting. Also creepy. But I wanted to know more. But it was nothing that I was like. There was a, a little part where John was doing the hedges and I was like, I've worked in a hotel before and it was a creepy hotel and I would do like the late close, I mean like 10 o'clock at night close and it would be really spooky. But, you know, yeah, you can hear things and I'm very kind of like, I would have been level headed. You are in the middle of nowhere, you're just cutting hedges and you think they're coming towards you. It's like, to me, it was like, hmm, hmm, like, sir. And then there's his drinking problem that keeps on arising all the time that he wants to drink, he wants to drink. That is like this imaginary, he's imagining this waiter or bartender to give him drinks. Like it just did not make sense to me. Like the book did just didn't make sense to me. And so now and last night when I was reading and I was on my own and it was like a stormy weather yesterday. I think we had some sort of storm coming in. Um... And it was so spooky reading about what happened to Danny and then the dad, um, the mom thought, Wendy thought that Jack was the one to put his hands on Danny uh, while sleepwalking. But they go in and so she shouts at him, she locks herself up and then uh, John is like, oh, I'm going to go and check, okay? So John goes into the room, he's like, there's nothing there, he gets to the door, almost grabs the door. And then he's like, he hears something, he goes back and the curtain of the shower is all pulled in when he left it out. And he could see a shadow in there, but he kind of bolts out, pussy. Um, and so that was kind of, I was like, oh shit. And then we get more in depth. Um, so now I'm like getting really pulled in and I want to know what, what's happening. So I feel like it took me a while to get in because I was like, I'm going to have such a shit review. Everyone else loved it. And I'm like right not really like it would have been a three star if not less if it didn't pick up by any means i have i don't know if i cheated or not because i thought maybe i'm just not grasping the book the way i'm supposed to um but i've watched the trailer for the movie like i think it's from the 80s actually 
Um, and I was like, oh, okay, like, I get it. He's, like, going wild and crazy or whatever. Um, and I was like, I just don't think I would have found it really, really scary anyways. So maybe I lowered my expectations, but finally kicked in. And I think the atmosphere in which you read it does really make a difference. So I have really only one class today, but I have a lot of reading to do for classes. So I'm going to get all my books ready, finish my class. I'll be done by 11. So that's amazing. Done by 11. There's a couple of things that I want to do. And yeah, today is a lot of reading and then I have three days off. So ideally I would finish the book today or tomorrow because I really want to get my hands on the next ones. And I really actually have a really great idea. And guys, I opened up a book, um, bookstagram account. So go and check it out. Follow me and drop me a message which book I should read next. So I just thought I will quickly catch up with you about The Shining and I'm like 350 pages in and there was two maybe chapters that I was like oh that makes me feel uncomfortable when uh, Danny was in like this the park this playground um, and he got really freaked out that's when I was like oh that is getting good but other than that I am there's a couple of parts where I was like oh my heart is beating I don't know if maybe I expected something different and it's just not and that's why I am not having such a great experience but it's almost putting me in like a reading slump and I've been getting new books to read and I just just want to read new books so I just really want to have it over with I think I'm like 150 pages away so I'll try my best to finish it today so I can finish Throne of Glass and I have the honey blood and honey that just came in today which is beautiful um also can you guys see my new beautiful mirror is going to go up here but the sticker needs to be pulled off but i have fake nails um as in like i have gels on top so it i can't peel it off so that's a work for grant so i'm gonna go try to get a couple of pages in right now we um we are on the third part which i'm guessing is the last part of the book because danny was trying to get the the chef to come and like kind of save him or something so we'll see that how how that goes also my hair looks crazy but i went to bed with wet hair two days ago so so i haven't done anything about it but yes so let's go guys so is the 13th today and finally freaking finally got the shining done and over with so my thoughts are the last 50 pages or so made it worth my while i didn't think that it was that amazing i thought it might have been me because for the first three days of reading i had a really bad headache so maybe i just didn't grasp something but to me it was a lot of jumping around which I don't particularly like and I don't like when everything is left till the last minute if you guys seen my a court of silver flames review I didn't enjoy the book as much as I feel like I could if things were thrown in before so I don't like when things are left till the last minute so that's why I feel like I maybe didn't enjoy it as much as others did and I think same goes for The Shining I think it had an eerie vibe but to me it was I'm gonna give it probably 3.75 stars because it wasn't a four star read to me it's like a that is a solid i would recommend to a friend and five star is just like everyone has to get it so it's just under four stars because i think it was a good read um but it wasn't amazing so that's kind of it i hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog let me know what you would like me to react to next and i hope you guys enjoyed it so with that being said until the next time i will talk to you guys soon